Hello my lovely students. I hope you all are very very fine. Today we are going to discuss long answer question of chapter 2 and this is the last video of chapter 2. From the next video we will proceed to the next chapter. So without any delay let's start our video. The long answer questions are given uh, on page number 25. So let's discuss first question. What the first question is asking, what are insectivorous plants and with the help of an example describe how they trap insects. You all are knowing there are various examples of uh, uh, insectivorous plants are like sundew plant, uh, venus flytrap plant, pitcher plant and so on. So you can take any example and you can describe their uh, way of trapping the insect. Here I have taken the example of the pitcher plant but you can explain what you uh, what you want okay so let's discuss what i have written in this uh, answer insectivorous plants are those plants that feed on the insect okay they are doing the photosynthesis as well but for the nitrogen they are depending on the insect that's why whenever insect get attracted towards them due to the uh, due to the sweet smell called nectar that time they used to trap the insect so answer is insectivorous means insect eating these plants take most of their nutrition from the insect that they trap eat and digest okay so why because they are they cannot get the nitrogen from the soil because wherever they are growing that is lack of the nitrogen so they have to take the uh, nitrogen in the other way and here they take by the insects example peacher plant let me show you the picture of the peacher plant this is peacher plant and as you can see it is having the leaf okay it is having the leaf which act as a lead okay so initially they keep these lead open and they wait for the insect and inside the peacher plant there is a nectar as you can see these are filled with the nectar which is a sweet liquid present in the insectivorous plant whenever insect get attracted toward uh, towards these sw uh, sweet liquid okay and when they go inside of the peacher that time they used to close like this okay like this plant and they keep these lead closed till the uh, insect will die and get a digested when they will get a digested again that lead are open and they wait for the next insect okay so this is how they used to trap the insect so let's read what i have written peacher plants have a peacher like shape and the mouth is covered by a leaf these plants have an attractive smell which attract insects when the insects land on the mouth of the plant it is covered with the, its leaf and insect get trapped and cannot come out and that at last they get digested okay so again i am repeating you it's not it's not uh, necessary that you will write the peach of plant only you can give any of the example like sundew plant or the venus flytrap okay no problem is there question number two is asking what are non-green plants and how do they get their food non-green plants means they don't look green in color why because they are not having chlorophyll okay many times we have discussed in the class non-green plants are not having photosynthesis and as we are knowing if they are not having uh, chlorophyll they cannot do photosynthesis hence they cannot make their food so how they used to get their food by the other ways and in the case of non-green plant okay they take these from the dead animals or the plant over there okay in the soil when the plant and uh, animals die and mix with the soil that time these are providing nutrition to the uh, non-green plant okay so let's read this answer Plants that do not have chlorophyll and cannot make their own food by photosynthesis are called non-green plants. They get their food from the remains of the dead plant and animals. What are the example? Indian pipe, mushroom and bracket tree. These are the example of non-green plant. Question number third is write a short note on a rainforest plants. Okay, rainforest plants are very tall. They are very green uh, like most of the plant in rainforest are evergreen. That means they don't shed their leaves all together. They are growing very close to each other and that's why 
द सनलाइट इज नॉट एबल टू एंटर टू द ग्राउंड ओके दैट्स वाई दे हैव टू रीच टूवर्ड्स अपवर्ड टू गेट द सन लाइट दैट्स वाई दीज प्लांट्स आर वेरी टॉल देर इज अ रीजन बिहाइंड इट बिकॉज इफ द सन लाइट सन लाइट इज नॉट रीचिंग टू द ग्राउंड ओके इन सर्च ऑफ द सन लाइट दीज प्लांट यूज टू ग्रो इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड स्लोली देयर देयर हाइट गो ऑन इंक्रीज एंड दे बिकम टॉल दे आर ऑल्सो ग्रोइंग वेरी क्लोज टू ईच अदर बिकॉज बिकॉज ऑफ द एटमोसफियर it is receiving these area rain forest area receive very heavy rainfall and due to that different type of plants are growing over there and due to the uh, very dense forest a lot of type of animals are also found over there in the world where these are located as you can see a red color mark which is south uh, america some part of africa and asia and australia these parts which is uh, which are red in color as you can see these are the rain forest okay where the rain forest are located the red color is showing those areas so let's read what is written in our answer dense and wet forests that are found mostly above and the below the equator are known as rain forest it is also very important to note down that it is the equator as you can see it is the equator and all the rain forest are present either below like south america or above the equator because equator receives direct rainfall uh, sorry direct sun rays due to that these are having very heavy rainfall okay the climate are very humid there and a lot of rainfall happen over there that's why a different type of vegetation is found in the rain forest okay this forest receive uh, heavy rainfall and trees are tall and evergreen due to dense forest more sunlight cannot to reach to the ground and rainforests exist in africa asia australia central america and south america as i have discussed so you can write some of the point i have not written because the uh, answer will become very long if you want to change some of the line or you want to add some of the line according to you then you can write okay that will also be absolutely correct